Hello everyone and welcome back to the Brian Fagan YouTube channel. My name is Carrie Marquis and today we are going to address a common and emotionally charged question. Does adultery affect child custody in Texas? We'll uncover the truth behind this complex issue, exploring both the legal aspects and real life implications. To fully understand the impact of adultery on child custody, we need to start with a basic understanding of Texas family law. In Texas, the primary concern in any custody case is the best interest of the child. The court's goal is to ensure the child's physical and emotional well-being. Factors such as the child's needs, the parent's ability to care for the child, and the stability of each home are considered. Now let's dive into a detailed scenario to illustrate how adultery might come into play. Imagine a couple, Sarah and John, who have two young children. Sarah discovers that John has been having an affair. Distraught and feeling betrayed, she decides to file for divorce and seek full custody of the children. She believes that John's adultery should be a significant factor in the custody decision. Sarah's perspective is understandable. However, Texas courts do not automatically consider adultery as a decisive factor in child custody cases. The court's primary focus remains on the best interest of the children, rather the marital misconduct of the parents. In our scenario, Sarah's lawyer advises her that while John's adultery is undoubtedly hurtful, it will only affect the custody decision if it can be shown to directly impact the children's well-being. For instance, if John's affair caused significant emotional distress to the children, or if he neglected his parental duties spending time with his affair partner, these factors could be relevant. Texas courts will examine whether John's behavior has created an unstable or unsafe environment for the children. If Sarah can provide evidence that John's affair led to neglect or exposed the children to harmful situations, this could influence the court's decision on custody. Let's take a look at this a step further. Suppose Sarah discovers that John introduced his affair partner to the children and that this person has a questionable background. If Sarah can present evidence that John's partner poses a risk to the children, the court is likely to consider this very seriously. The safety and stability of the children's environment are paramount. However, if the affair had no direct impact on the children and John has otherwise been a responsible and loving parent, the court may determine that the adultery is irrelevant to the custody decision. Texas courts strive to ensure that both parents maintain a meaningful relationship with their children whenever possible. In our scenario, even if Sarah is granted primary custody, John may still be awarded significant visitation rights. The court encourages co-parenting and aims to minimize the impact of the divorce on the children's relationship with both parents. It's also worth noting that Texas is a no-fault divorce state. This means that spouse doesn't need to prove wrongdoing, such as adultery, to get a divorce. While adultery can be considered in the division of marital property and spousal support, its impact on child custody is much more limited and focused on the children's best interest. Let's summarize what we've discussed. Adultery, while painful and potentially disruptive to the family dynamic, does not automatically determine child custody outcomes in Texas. The court's primary concern is the best interest of the child. Evidence that directly links the affair to negative consequences for the children can influence custody decisions but the affair itself is not usually a deciding factor. In conclusion, if you find yourself in a situation similar to Sarah's, it's essential to focus on what's best for your children and provide the court with concrete evidence of how any misconduct has affected their well-being. Consulting with an experienced family law attorney can help you navigate this difficult process and advocate effectively for your children's best interests. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more legal insights and updates. Stay informed and take care. Thanks so much for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. If you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. 
Got any questions or thoughts? Drop a comment below. And if you know someone who could benefit from this video, don't hesitate to share it with them. For more awesome resources, check out the description below. Take care, we'll see you in the next video.